Now, I'm going to retain an old style Mayfly. Now, recently I saw a picture of a blacker green drake. Now, I really like I tied it on this hook first, just to see what it looked like. This is a kind of the style of the hook, kind of quite heavy, big large mayfly. Now I'm going to tie it on a on a fishing size hook. Now I really like the look of it, so I hope you enjoy the tying. It's a bit of fun. Now this is a a light medium wire hook. It's a Camasan. It's a P170 size ten. Thread I'm going to be using is Uni Thread 80 in yellow. I'm just going to start at the eye and work my way down. Now I'm going to slightly come round the bend. Just come round to a point where it's just starting to come round the bend and then remove the base piece. For the tail, this is black bear, natural bear. I've had it for years. God knows how long I've had it. And uh, for the tail, he uses black bear. So I'm just going to take off. It says three fibres. So what I'm going to do here is tie on. It's almost there. More than three, but I'm going to either leave them or we can put it. Pick the best. So tie it on the top. Quite happy with that number. The length you're looking. Mayfly tails are quite long, so don't be shy with the length. At least the length of the hook. That's fine. Now, I'm going to catch the hackle in about two thirds of the way up, which is about there. Then we tie in a rib. The original didn't have a rib, but I'll put a rib on it. This is an oval gold tinsel. It's a small, or a number 14. Now, part of the body, so I'm going to get a nicer taper. I'm just going to use the thread just to form a taper at the back. Then I'm going to work my way up using this is basically a honey olive. It's like a yellow olive mix, it's a nice, a nice colour. Let's suit this fly. I'm just going to dub it on. And wind up. It's just forming the body. You see the yellow thread is a part of the taper. Just at the same time I'm going to tie in these ends of the tail. Make sure the rib stays alongside the shank. At this point, I'm going to tie in a, a yellowish hackle. This is a very, it's like a pale yellow. Just a nice colour that suits. It's an old yellow colour. Now, I'm looking for a... I'm going to show you the hackle length. Let's take one of these hackles out. I want it reasonably to come back long. I'm going to tie it in with the butt section down here. I want the fibres to lean or to come back towards the end of the hook, so maybe halfway into the tail. And then catch it on with a good side face of myself. Secure it down with that third or so of the, the body. Take away the waist and then continue with the dubbing. Now tie old salmon flies like this, same sort of style, so we just build up so the taper continues to check. There you go. Leave a good three mil or so there. Now wind the hackle the opposite way. Then I'm winding my thread and dubbing on and my rib. So I just wind it up. There's a Chinese cock hackle. They're really they're quite soft. So at this point you've got enough turns. Crisscross it. So cross the hackle, turn onto the hook. Do it two or three times. Trim away. And then we bring my rib up. Looking five turns or so. Draw back the fibres just as you bring up to tie off your tinsel. Cross your thread. It's like an old style, it's lovely. Uh, um, it's going to have a hero head, which is again just adds to the attraction of the fly. I'm just going to use a bit of velcro here just to draw back the fibres. Now, Winding the, the hackle that way towards yourself and then bring the rib up. The rib's going to protect the hackle. And you see how far it sweeps back into 
halfway into the tail, which is gives it a lot of movement. It's a lovely sort of wet tight fly that you're looking for. For the wing, this is just mallard flank. It's a grey mallard flank, which has been dyed a nice yellow. It's a pale yellow. Again, much the same colour. Just going to remove the fluff from either side. I'm going to take out the tip of the hackle, so we've got a right and a left side. So we just come in here, take this out, there's my right and my left. Now you simply all you do is bring your finger and thumb in, you pull it tight, to hold the, it pulls the fibre together, and you come in from the other side and you hold it and that gives you basically a right and a left side. You want at least the wing length of the hook, it's a hook length, and you fold this down, don't be fussy with it. And then pinch and loop it on two or three times and then secure it in with a few more turns. Now you can always go back if you're not happy. You see that wing you get. Don't be shy with the wing. And then it's a large fly. You're talking a wing length at least an inch. Turn it off. Now I'm going to wax my thread at this point. Put plenty of wax on. Keep hold of the wing. Pearl and the tie in front. Just a, I'm actually using the dyed yellow peacock pearl. Two fibres. Trim them so they're both the same length. And tie it in nice and tight. Right. Now to protect the hero, it's going to wind over some super glue. Obviously you can't touch it, just tie over the super glue, one turn in front of the other. Allow it to stick. As you get to the thread, follow the thread up. Or with the, the hero, just follow both up. Now you can run the thread through, find hero. It's easier then to break it off. You give it a second or so because of the glue. It's using the tip of my nail here. Make a space for the thread to come in front. Take your time. Don't want to be too anxious to come forward because of the glue was still slightly wet. No, that's fine. And then there we are. And that's a basic kind of old style tying a, a mayfly partner, a green drake. Tighten up. There we go. Now all we've got to do is varnish the head. Just watch the peacock here, we just put it onto the eye, the hook round the eye. Turn the vice if you can. And obviously make sure the eye is clean, which I use my dubbing needle to do it. And there we are. And that's I say an old style mayfly. Uh, with the herald head. Tell you that will catch. That's a, a good, good old pattern.